Here are a few questions to think about, either on your own or to talk about with those in your home. Firstly, how has pride and haughty eyes shown itself in your life during the lockdown? Second, what great matters are you concerning yourself with? Third, how might God be using coronavirus to wean us, to create a calm and content soul like David speaks of having in Psalm 131? And lastly, what will putting our hope in God look like in the days ahead? Think about who is God that we should put our hope in him? What has he done that we can put our hope in? Press pause now to discuss these questions. Here are a few prayer ideas as we turn to pray. Firstly, let us confess to God our proud hearts and haughty eyes. Maybe mention some of the things that you've just been talking about in your homes and ask for God's forgiveness. Next, thank God that he is in control of great matters like coronavirus, our health, our jobs and our future. That's something that we can be thankful for and rejoice that he is in the business of controlling the great matters, the wonderful things that David speaks of in Psalm 131. Next, thank God that he is working in our lives. Pray that that work would include growing in contentment, in humility and in dependence upon him. Such a beautiful image of that still and quiet soul. I know I would love for that to be true more for me. Next, pray that we would individually and as a church put our hope in the Lord both now and forevermore. And also, pray that more in our community, town and nation would put their hope in the Lord at this time. Press pause now and let's pray. <laughs> 